Today we will briefly check out the difference between a blueprint event, a blueprint function and a blueprint macro in Unreal Engine. First, the blueprint event. To create a new event you have to right click in your event graph of a blueprint and search for add custom event. And then you can give a name to your new event. To add input values to your event you have to select it and then can add various input values in its details panel. However, as you can see here, you are not able to add return values to a blueprint event. And by using events, you are able to call those events from within other blueprints and therefore using the functionality within this event across various blueprints. Next, we have functions. To create a new function in a blueprint, you have to go to the function section in your My Blueprint panel. By pressing the plus icon, you can create a new function and give it a name. Again, in the details panel, you can see that you can add several input parameters. However, this time you can also add output parameters that will be returned to wherever the function gets called. Furthermore, you can also define local variables that only exist within the function and not outside of it. Lastly, a blueprint function can be called from within the same or other blueprints. And finally, we have the blueprint macros. You can also create a new macro in the My Blueprint panel by pressing the plus icon in the macro section. Similar to a function, a macro can have input and output parameters. Additionally, it can also have multiple input execution pins and multiple output execution pins, allowing you to split the control flow with the help of a macro. However, a macro can only be called within the same blueprint and not from other blueprints. The usage of a macro is therefore to organize your code within the same blueprint in cases where you need to execute the functionality multiple times throughout the blueprint. Essentially, a macro just copies and pastes the code that you have put inside of it at the locations it gets used. Now you should have a general understanding of each of the different ways to implement functionality within a blueprint. But there are still a few more differences across them. First, inside blueprints you can use the timeline nodes only in connection with blueprint events. So only inside the event graph. Latent actions like the delay node can be used inside a macro and in connection with events. However, using a macro that contains a latent action inside a function would lead to an error because you would paste the latent action inside the function which is not allowed. So to summarize, each of those options can be used for different purposes. If you want to organize the code only within the same blueprint, a macro might be enough. However, if you want to use the functionality outside of this blueprint, you have to use a function or event, for example, depending on whether you need to return a parameter or not. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or also if you have any further additions. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if it was helpful and see you next time.